Hi everyone, welcome to episode 2 of Steamtastic Fridays. Uh, uh, this week we'll be exploring Gond art and to make this exploration we were inspired by these books uh, by Durga Bai and uh, Katha Publishers and Para Publishers um, and a bunch of other books that you will find um, uh, at the Toka shop. So Gond art is um, from the Gond people of Central India and they have a lot of similarities with the Australian Aboriginal art as well as even from the cave art that is found in the Bimbetka caves in Madhya Pradesh in the Gond region. Um, and they have bright colors made from natural dyes and um, patterns on the art as you can see uh, in some of these books. And they are inspired by the forests and the animals around them the forest where they live in central India and the animals around them. And we thought we should do the same to uh, when we do the exploration to be inspired by our surroundings and the nature around us. So we are out in the Pacific Northwest near Seattle in Bellevue. And we do see a lot of black tailed deers and bunnies in our backyard. And of course, the ubiquitous uh, American Robin. And of course, a fish for the salmon found in the Pijat Sound region. So if you would like these printouts, uh, they are available on the website at tokobox.com Steamtastic Fridays. We'll put out the link as well. And uh, let's get started with our exploration. You can go out and take a printout or you can draw your own animals. It's up to you how you would like to do this. So once your paint is dry, now you're ready to make the Gond art patterns. So we are inspired by this uh, frisky deer from the 123 uh, book, which was in our also in our January Toka Junior box. And it's a fabulous book. And we are going to use Gond art patterns. And Gond art patterns are usually dots and dashes and twirls and so on. So in this one, we are just going to use something as simple as dashes. So with your marker, you can start adding these small dashes into your pattern and the angle of these dashes can change as you go from one part of the body of the deer to another as you will see from the um, painting there so this is me i'm going down in a diagonal pattern right now and once i reach the face i will change the pattern out so Gondat is great for pattern recognition. Patterns are all around us and they are one of the major building blocks of um, future math skills and literally pattern recognition is what makes us human. So we'll continue with our patterning. Thank you for joining us this week when we explored Gond art. Uh, I hope you get to explore a lot of animals and patterns uh, with this artwork. And we'll be back next week with a fun exploration of block printing on Steamtastic Fridays at 11 a.m. PST. Stay tuned for more. And uh, I hope you stay safe and healthy. And we'll see you back again next week. Have fun. <laughs>